What is going on guys, Brown here and welcome back to the My Team Crew Mate here today for the Japanese Grand Prix. It's been a while since the last episode in Russia but I'm back now and hopefully we can get this season done over over Christmas. So you can see here this is the R&D. I, like a great recorder I am, didn't really record much of the R&D but it's getting to the point in the season now where we need to think about next year. Do we keep Callum Island or do we go elsewhere? You can see here, I think it's worth saving up um, for a driver. The car, there's not really much point developing it either. So, yeah, I think let's just focus on a driver. Depending on how Callum Island does as well, obviously. He's doing an okay job, he came straight in and got points, unlike Guan Yu Zhou. But into qualifying we go, <coughs> and it's very wet out there, very slippery of course, Japan has monsoon conditions most of the time, so it looks like they're here today. Luckily it's not full wet like it when it got rained off last year qualifying, but around the final corner, intermediate conditions as well, up to the line. That puts us P4, but only for a little while. I tried to go for another run, and then we just made this absolute massive mistake. You saw we were up for a split second. I think we were actually up off the track somehow. So coming towards the end of qualifying, we can see we slipped all the way down to P20, but we have found nearly five tenths of a second into the final chicane we've overshot it a bit we've gone a bit deep that's tightened up our line in the second part of the chicane and up to the line can we improve we improve only though to p no no we briefly improved to p19 but we are straight back down to p20 let's get into the race Welcome along then to the magnificent Suzuka International Circuit, a stone's throw away from Isa Bay in the beautiful Japanese countryside. What surprises lie in wait for us today in the Japanese Grand Prix? 18 corners make up a lap of the incredible figure of eight Suzuka circuit, with 10 to the right and eight to the left for a distance of 3.6 miles. Average lap speeds around here are fairly quick. If it stays dry, then expect somewhere in the region of 136 miles per hour. Joining us today to oversee all the thrills and spills, it's Anthony Davidson. And great to see you. How are you feeling about the race today? And how are the circuit conditions from what you've seen? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there, if I'm honest. These tyres have quite a narrow operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fence starts from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Vettel, Max Verstappen, and Albon, Perez, Ricardo, Sainz, and Lance Stroll, Giovinazzi, Gasly, Esteban Ocon, and Grosjean, Norris, Magnussen, Callum Eilert, and Brown. Russell, Latifi, Kvyat, they've taken a grid penalty, and Kimi Raikkonen finishes off the grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Enjoying these kind of videos, make sure to like and subscribe. But we are starting P18 after some engine penalties to Daniel Kvyat and Kimi Raikkonen. And I think Valtteri Bottas on pole, I believe he can win the championship in a couple of rounds time depending on how he does this is also the first round of when the update came in to put the black mercedes in so that's the, the only difference but we strategy we're going to start on the hard go on to the soft so if we have good pace on the hards we can stay up there we can be very quick indeed at the end of the race on those soft tires as the lights go out and we're underway, it looks like Bottas has got the better start out of the two Mercedes. The Ferrari behind, I think that's Charles Leclerc, we've got a good start, we're just going to try and sail around the outside of everyone we 
get pushed a little bit wide by the hards. We can't quite get the exit and we've lost out to Ilot as well, our teammate. We try to go side by side through the S section. Ilot's gone a little bit deep. We're going to try and do, try and go around the outside again. Look at the Williams lurking as well. We're right on the outside. We have the inside line. But Callum Ilot gets the exit. We're still side by side. We're on the outside. And now we're on the outside. Great defending. We try and do the switch back on Callum Ilot. We couldn't do it. And Callum Ilot, well defended, keeps that position. That was an unbelievable battle at the start. We've lost quite a bit of time to those in front but well worth it is down at the back this is Kimi Raikkonen getting past Nicholas Latifi through 130 out great move that and now here comes George Russell that's dirty I'm a fan of George Russell I can't believe I did that just that's so dirty pushing him completely off the track and now we're coming under pressure from Daniel Kvyat in the Alpha Tauri and he has actually overtaken us down into turn one nothing I could do about that this car is very underpowered and it literally turns like a bus <laughs> so we're just dealing with what we've got we're trying to drag this car up George Russell now got Kimi Räikkönen on the back of him and he's right on the back of us so it's going to be another 130 hour move for Kimi Räikkönen and it, he's, he's eyeing it up he always oh, thought about it tried to go to the outside but George is going to sail around the outside of us fair play George Russell no, we're going to send it back up the inside we've gone wide though we've forced George out again and now Kimi Räikkönen around the outside it looks to have got George Russell. The Williams, though, has the straight line speed, but that Mercedes engine in the back of it. But Kimi Raikkonen has got the move completed on the Williams. That was a great battle. Kimi nearly going straight into the back of the Williams. As we here on lap four, we go a little bit wide. And now Kimi Raikkonen sees his chance and gets us before we even get to 130 R there. And Raikkonen, it was only going to be a matter of time before he overtook us anyway. That Alpha much quicker than us. But hopefully we can hold on to him. That would be that would be good. We've pulled away from the two Williams as well. So But we couldn't we couldn't we couldn't hold on. We're now all the way on to lap eleven and you can see we're kind of in the small gap here where we're doing we're doing alright. We're just on our own, a bit of a dull race, one of these. If we go all the way on to lap 18 now, and we're just on our own. And this is the lap we're actually going to come in to make our one and only stop. It says we're in P11, we're actually in about a net P20 after we pit. Obviously you can see everyone flooding past us now. It's such an unpit lane here. We're right at the bottom, right at the end of it, and that a oh, 3.1 second stop. It's horrendous. As we come out, we've actually lost out to Ilot. We already had <laughs> Ilot was miles at the road, so I think we may have gained a little bit of time on him. But now we might be able to get him. He's on the hards, and we are on the soft. Fresh soft tyres too compared to quite a few lap old hard tyres. So we might be able to get him by the end. Let's see. He's just there on lap 22. But these soft tyres are going off fairly quickly after five or so laps. So they are starting to wear a little bit now compared to those opening laps when we were gaining chunks of time you can see the gap there it is coming down but is it going to come down enough to get Callum Isla in this race because it means absolutely nothing it's just pride we're down fighting over P19 and on lap 23 we are much closer to the back of Isla we've gone rich 
Can we go down the inside potentially? No, we're a little bit too far back. Through the chicane. Surely we can have a go now into turn one. We've got the overtake button on. We're closing on the back of Callum Eilert. We're going to pull to the outside of Callum Eilert. And we're going to go round the outside of Callum Eilert at turn one. But we've gone deep. Eilert thought about getting us back at the inside. But we shut the door on him. And we get that P19. The best place to be. <laughs> Can we get away from all of that? This is a replay of the of the OSA. You see, we just went round the outside. We did go very, very wide though. You can see the red the red arrow saying that he is still there. But we have got him. With P19, it's, it's going to be a Japanese win for Lewis Hamilton as we come into the final chicane and up to the line. Alright, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. done it then, here at Suzuka, a brilliant win on this beloved figure of eight circuit. Tell me Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy and to stay out of trouble. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. So that's been Mercedes your Japanese Grand Prix. With the season one of the mighty career mode. You can see we've just beat the Williams again. Yeah, unfortunately have probably been our rivals all the way through. They are still yet to score I believe though. And the championship looking very interesting going into the next round at America, Dakota, 1878 points between Hamilton and Bottas. Bottas can wrap up the title in America next time out. He only needs 12 points to do it. So. Back into the paddock. And it's how we fare up against our teammate. The accumulator level that I still have no idea how it works. We've got all the all the sponsor bonuses bar one. And going into America, I'm glad to get Japan out of the way. We've got 80k, that puts us on 11.11 .11 million. If that makes sense. And yeah. We'll see what happens in America. Thank thanks for watching and I'll see you in America. Goodbye.